This topic is named as multiplication theorems on probability. Now multiplication theorems of probability, this topic is very helpful in computing the probabilities of occurrence of simultaneous events of a random experiment. That means when we have a random experiment and there are simultaneous events related to it, this is very much helpful. Now we already know the conditional probability. So this is a formula related to conditional probability which says P of A intersection B is either equal to P of A multiplied by P of B with respect to A or P of B multiplied by P of A with respect to B. Now from here what we can do is from here you can always compute P of B over A that means P of B when A has already occurred that is P of A intersection B over P of A from here. And this is not a new thing, this you have already studied in the topic of conditional probability. So if I write the formula like this or if I write the formula like this, doesn't matter. The same applies to the second formula. Now if A and B are independent events, independent events are the one which do not have any influence of each other on one another. That means if A occurs, it is not affected by B in any manner, it does not depend upon B if I can say in that manner and if B occurs it does not depend upon A. So for A and B to be independent events, P of A intersection B is equal to P of A multiply P of B. So this is very important because they are independent they will not influence each other. So this is regarding intersection. If I have to make a formula regarding union, what will it be like? It will be P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Now when you just put the above thing wherein P of A intersection B is P of A into P of B and take common the different things, subtract one and add one, last but not the least step would be this will result in this step. That means P of A intersection B has the formula P of A multiply P of B but P of A union B has the formula 1 minus P A naught and B naught. So, these are the two important formulas which will be used in certain questions of this topic. Rest all the topics will be just similar to the conditional probability but this is only and only used when you see the definition follows in case of multiplication theorems on probability.